uh, how do you know what your spiritual gift is? If someone came to you and said, I'm not sure what my spiritual gift is, uh, what would you say pastorally? Uh, you take a seminar next Saturday. <laughs> you have two minutes. <laughs> well, as you might know, what you want me to ask this personally, how I personally do this. Sure. Yeah. Romans 12 lists seven giftings. Uh, prophecy, service, teaching, exhortation, leadership, giving, and mercy. I believe those giftings are um, motivations for ministry that are built into us, even from birth. And what we'd want to know is, in one of those seven ways might we have been shaped that motivates whatever we do. If, if you're given the motivational ministry of mercy, it does not matter what job or vocation you have, you will do it out of mercy. If you're given the motivation gift of exhortation, it doesn't matter what job, you're gonna do it out of exhortation. Um, so you can have different jobs and different vocations, but you're still gonna be driven by that giftedness. So that's one. Then 1 Corinthians 12, I take to be the ways in which the Spirit works at his will. That's the key thing in verse 11, as he wills. And, and those gifts, I don't think we have control over. That comes upon us. That's the Spirit coming and awakening something in us. Come back at me, because I know you're gonna teach it if, if, with this next line. If I'm used by the Spirit to pray for healing and bring healing to someone, that does not make me a healer. It means that at that moment, the Spirit used me. Whereas in 1 Corinthians 12, those, that's who I am. That is who I am constitutionally. Um, and so, and, and the 1 Corinthians, uh, Romans 12 is, a, is about the way in which you impact other people. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 is the, the way the Spirit works in the gathered community. That's how I take it. So it's almost like if you're looking to discover your spiritual gifts, you want to spend time studying what they are in the New Testament. And then there's this process of serving, seeing where there's blessing, seeing yeah. where there's the affirmation of the body. Sometimes it's connected to what makes your heart break, what okay. stirs your passion. Those types of practical considerations are also part of the journey and then giving God time to reveal those, yeah. even trial and error, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. So the, the, the one question I would have any of you ask is, there's many questions that could use to pers uh, pursue this. The one question is, when are you most alive? Hmm. What are you doing when you're most alive? I used to say, when is it when you find your greatest joy? Mm. That, that's related, but Sharon and I took dance lessons to get ready for our youngest daughter's wedding, and the, the dance instructor corrected me. He says, no, don't ask what gives you joy. Ask what makes you alive. She says, because the world needs is people who are alive. Mm. So what are you doing when you're most alive? <laughs>